If you'd like to enter to win this awesome keychain that I did a DIY on, go to the video that's linked in the description where you'll learn how to make it, or if you don't want to make it, enter the giveaway where I'll be giving it away for free. All the details will be in the video linked. What it do, my lovely, sweet, beautiful, wonderful booze? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about Strangerville, which is, I mean, for the lack of a better word, strange. Sim Guru Kate actually tweeted today that there is a new comic that came out regarding the Sims for Strangerville. They actually released the first part when they announced the actual game, but today they released finally the second part of the comic, and today I kind of wanted to go over it with you. Also, there were a lot of questions about what was going on, basically. Everyone was really, really confused when I actually went ahead and uh, reviewed the trailer, so I do want to clear a few things up by kind of going into the game of overview and kind of reading that through with you guys just so you guys can get a better understanding of what is going on no it's not zombies it's actually confirmed that is it's not zombies I don't think there's like an infection or something I think it's more along the lines of brainwashing to be honest because the sim gurus are talking all over Twitter about the mother right the mother is watching the mother our eyes are open to the mother all of that weird stuff on Twitter that you keep seeing the gurus tweeting about so I I really think that it is less zombie-ish and more brainwashy-ish. <laughs> what if that's if that's even a word. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read through this comic together. Okay, y'all, so I'm on the webpage. We are on ea.com slash games. So if you look through the first page, they didn't release much of a story on the first page, to be honest. They just kind of released this postcard, which is really cool art. I really, really like this. And if you keep scrolling down, we've got kind of, you know, this is part two, so that's out now, and then part three and part four are still yet to be posted. But they did release an overview with some key features on here, which I, I missed on my on my reaction video. So let's just go ahead and go through it. Sims 4 Strangerville. Start your investigation and solve the mystery of a desert town that holds a deep, dark secret in the Sims 4 Strangerville. In this ominous town, Sims are acting strange for unknown reasons. Is there a conspiracy? Will this seemingly odd force possess your Sim? Uncover the story of the secret lab where Sims will encounter strange plants and interact with peculiar devices. Can you solve the mystery? Key features. So there is a new world which is really cool looking. I will go ahead and pull up a picture of the new world. It is really really cool. It, it's a game pack too which actually releases 11 new lots that your sims can actually live on which is amazing compared to I, I don't know how many lots we got in Forgotten Hollow, but we did not get that many, and that's how many I was expecting, so this exceeds my expectations already. Explore Strangerville, a rural desert town shrouded in secrecy. Encounter weird weather, creepy townies, dangerous plants, odd collectibles, and more. Unravel the story. Immerse your sims in unique and mysterious events. Unmarked vans appear in neighborhoods. Government agents use secret listening devices, and scanners are key in detecting the unusual. Crack the code to have your sims investigate using their military training, which is a new career. Searching for clues to solve a mystery that lies within the secret lab. Suit up your sim. Get sims in the mystery solving mood by gearing them up with a desert inspired clothing and military fatigues or prepare them for the end with conspiracy themed clothes, secret agent attire, and a hazmat suit, which is going to seriously come in handy in my apocalypse LP. Not saying that this is apocalyptic because I don't know, I don't really think that this is apocalyptic. I don't know. I'm not, I, I, I have no idea. I haven't played with it yet, but I guarantee I will be soon. So, Strangerville, this is the first part that was released, but there is no story attached to it. However, in part two, there is a story attached to it. So, welcome to Strangerville. In this ominous town, Sims are acting odd for unknown reasons. Can you solve the mystery? All right, let me uh, go ahead and shrink myself a little bit so we can actually pay attention to the comic in its entirety. So we've got actually 
the same sim from the trailer who wore that really pretty shirt that I shouted out in my reaction video. She's just saying, excuse me, and it's a really cute little, like, modern graphic design kind of cutesy, cartoony uh, style. I'd, I'd, I don't know if I'm even saying that style correctly, but it's really, really cute. She's just saying, excuse me, excuse me, hello there, do you know where the... Um, okay, there is an airplane flying above. I really hope you can't hear it. And if you can, I really apologize. So these Sims all have freaky looking looks on their face. It's actually almost even creepier than the Sims themselves. <laughs> Let's just keep going here. Um, I can only imagine how this woman is feeling right now. Hello? She's <laughs> oh, it looked like she was slapping the guy for a second. She's just waving her hand. Look this, trying to get his attention and his eyes are remaining beady and his smile joker-like. Um, yeah, that is some creepy-ish if I have ever freaking seen it. What the hell? Something is not right with dot 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 this town. Oh my god. And they actually are including the new hairs and items, which I think is actually kind of cute. I wonder who actually did this artwork, because this is really, really awesome. Creepy as hell, but awesome at the same time. <laughs> Hey! She is grabbing the girl. I don't know if I would be grabbing this girl. I think I would probably be running away and getting on a bus to the nearest town, but that is just me. So she is getting closer to the girl with the hair and just kind of gave up, I guess. She's very confused, dot, dot, dot. It's spreading. What is spreading, though? Is it a disease? Is it a virus? Is it, like, craziness? Is it a brainwashing? Stupidity. Stupidity, that's what's spreading. Anyways, I have to hurry! I don't know what that means. I think she is already, like, figuring that she needs to solve the mystery. I mean, I don't know if I would put that upon myself to solve a mystery if I just walked into this town. I would be like, peace, deuces, I'm out of here. I would not be interested. And the last photo is to be continued. A big-ass render of these Sims just walking around zombie-like, which I just, it's just so creepy. It's the comic so cool. is actually really, really cute. I'm actually kind of living for it. It is really, really adorable. I love the art style of it and the fact that it is actually kind of hinting to what we're going to be seeing when we get this game before we actually start playing. Because, you know, they never give us any really real information until it's really out and we have everything kind of online already. But I think that that's really a really awesome way to kind of keep us interested in this game as it's you know on its way to coming out i can't wait to play with it let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys going to play this game are you thinking of buying it are you thinking of waiting until it goes on sale or just not getting it at all is this just like not your cup of tea it's definitely mine i am so so thrilled to start playing with this game you have no clue but anyways you guys that is it for me today be sure to leave me a comment letting me know what you think in the comments down below and if you want to become one of my boos please go ahead and subscribe it's that beautiful little red button down below and i will see you all next time bye loves Mwah.